Holy crap, everybody! What's going on? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants: The Revenge of the Flying Douchman, the Flying Douchebag. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, I've never made that joke ever. Actually, I, have. I don't think I've ever made that joke before. Last episode, I'm pretty sure we finished off Jellyfish Fields. In this episode, we're gonna enter the one, the only, the no, not downtown. <laughs> the uh, Chum World. Oh my gosh! Oh boy! Ah, muffins. I don't know why there's muffins involved, but whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, this is the, I guess, third last world. Really, I was gonna say second last. Yeah, well, I'd say this is the second last big world. Look out, Chum World! Here I come. Look out, Chum World! Here I come! La 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 la! Alright, so let's check out our to-do list. Win the porthole plunge game. That sounds kind of disgusting. Win the inflato game! Okay. Uh, on top of the spinner, on top of the first, we will catch Plankton if you can. Which is actually one we can't do. Uh, win the Chum Putt game! Uh, to the tippy top of the big top. Catch 25 jellyfish at Chum World. Gather 225 doubloons in Chum World and find the Dutchman's treasure. Okay. So there's no money in this level too. I don't know if you guys saw that. Really easy to miss. These doubloons inside these freaking balloons, man. I kept missing doubloons. Even when I was like, I was made fully aware that those were there by the fact that, you know, like, you know, when I first entered this level. I did see that there was, um, doubloons in here. Also, if you listen up. This is, I'm pretty sure this is one of the only levels in the game where the level music overrides the costume music. Actually, no, it doesn't override it, it just, it simply exists. Pretty much every other level does not have its own music. But, uh, oh my god, are we gonna have to fight this guy again? Take that, Vile Fiend! Oh no, he's absorbing the water! He's drinking the water with his giant mouth! <laughs> you are one tough customer. But Plankton gave me specific orders not to let you into the big top. Listen, clown, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Orders are orders, but uh, maybe we could make a deal. I'll light five targets nearby, and if you can extinguish them all really quickly, then maybe I could use it as an excuse to leave this door. Light them up and stand back! Okay. He says really quickly, so, like, when I first did this, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this yet. I want to explore the rest of this part of the level before I enter the big top. Well, these targets actually stick around forever. I'm pretty sure you need Mermaid Man to do this. I know for sure you can't use your jellyfish rod because I kept trying to use it. Yeah, it didn't work. Anyways, the five targets are just usually, like, they're all just right here. I thought they are going to be around all this area and they're going to be kind of, like, hard to find. But no, they're just all here. It's weird. I don't understand why this is so easy. It's kind of strange. Oh, come on. Get on the freaking trash can thing. Wow, I didn't mean to hit that target, but okay. Bam! Okay, that totally hit it, but alright, whatever you say, you freaking mermaid man. Alright, this could be a bit annoying to hit. Gonna be fine, everything's gonna be fine, we're gonna work this out together. We work it out! We work it out! We work it out! Oh my good lord. Okay, we need to line ourselves up better, apparently. Come on! What? Uh! What? <sighs> it's just uh, freaking panic and just throw junk at it. It's not working very well, you guys. Um, there we go. Okay, apparently I just need to switch where I was standing around. How's that, huh? I hit all your targets. Now what? I beat your challenge, clown. So take your stinky breath elsewhere. Come on, shake up and move it. Yay, he runs away! So yeah, I thought for sure that... When he said do it quickly and then I didn't do it right away, I thought for sure it was going to penalize me. It didn't though, nothing happens. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're not going to go into the big top yet. We're just going to explore this area first. See what, what else we could find in this wonderful world. And of course there is jellyfish in here as well. Let's uh, change costumes. Cause that's pretty sure that's the only other use for a mermaid man in the game. The mermaid man costume! Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought I was playing the jellyfish music. I was like, wait, what? I don't remember this being a thing. I don't. It's true. I do not. There's this. I don't understand what the heck this is supposed to be. I don't know, man. It's very strange. 
And then I died. The end. Uh, well, I was gonna say, it actually makes more sense to go to the left first, since there's not much that way, but whatever. Fine, I don't care. Whoa! Nope. Give me that jellyfish, yeah. Yeah, sucker. Anything else here? Nope. Oh, okay, yeah, you can walk in some parts of the water. Okay, apparently it's just random spots you can walk on. I thought for sure I was safe to continue walking there, but apparently not. Game. Game. So what I want to do here is I want to stick on here. Stick the landing. And then we want to jump. Oh, please make it. Okay. I had a lot of issues with this jump before, so I'm kind of glad I made the first shot there. There's another thing I was like... You feel like you should be able to get up there and there should be like something up there, right? And as far as I'm aware, there's nothing there. There's just nothing. Nothing. This world is actually... I don't want to say too easy. I don't remember having really too many issues with it, though. There, there were a few small things, but we'll get into those when we get to them. But for the most part, like... Uh oh Oh, man. I did not think I was going to get everything there. For the most part, this I found this level to be pretty... Easy for like collecting wise. Uh, whoa, holy crap! I expected to have some time to react there. I was just gonna show that that sinks, but geez, they give you, yeah, no time to react. <laughs> you no know, time to react, more like kids reacting. Yeah, there's a doubloon in there. A doubloon. The fall that jellyfish. Hmm. Swims around Plankton's head. Let's. Get... Oh, I did get him. Cool. We get a cool screenshot here. I doubt. I don't think so. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if that was any good or not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay. Let's um check out the carts. All right. There's a sneaky jellyfish here. A green guy. He's very scared. I don't know why he's in an amusement park for. Whoa! I thought that guy was gonna hit me. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. That makes your your pants explode right off your body. It's pretty disgusting, really. Imagine getting hit by something so hard. Your pants explode off your body. Not nothing else, just your pants. Yeah, that's that's SpongeBob's daily life right there. Getting hit by stuff and having his pants explode. What a wonderful life SpongeBob must lead. <laughs> okay, don't sink, please. Ah, camera. Couldn't get the camera to turn there with me. Just didn't feel like doing it, man. Go this way, too. Yay! We already have 61. Jeez. It's like, you think, like, it says 225 doubloons we have to collect. But it's like, holy crap, that's so much. We have just started this level, and we already have, like, 60. Or 61, to be exact. Oh, man. Okay, it's down here, then. I just know this in general. If these jellyfish are going a huge path, it's good to just look where, like... A low point for the jellyfish. Damn it! Isn't just wait for it. Reaction time. Come on, hippie! Jellyfish, stop defeating me! My mortal enemy! Yeah! Wow, I'm surprised that worked. Normally when I just kinda Well not freak out, but when I get like anti like that, normally it fails. Carnival games this way. Well, if you actually come up here, there's a carnival game right up here. How is this game played? Okay, the inflato game works like this. The balloon is surrounded by four buttons. You gotta slam all the buttons really fast to blow the balloon up and pop it. Do you Ooh. Really need to repeat that? Start stomping! Start stamping! Okay, so yeah, there's this guy here. I didn't really understand how this works. Oh yeah, there's also a doubloon in this balloon I almost missed. Didn't see you there, almost. See, yeah, if, it's like if you start stomping these, okay. Makes sense, he's inflating. But if you take a look for a second here. Some of them start blinking, yes. Yeah, oh, that one just... I see, it's blinking because it's almost out of time. And that fish just... I don't know if you guys saw that. The fish just jumped off right into the goo. He just died. So, oh, it's my time. Bye! <laughs> Alright, so this is the first carnival game. Yeah, most carnival games aren't very great. But for the most part, they're okay. They're enjoyable. I would say I have fun with them. They're a thing I allow myself to have fun at. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the right side here. Now let's go to the left side. So that's going to the carnival games. 
But they wouldn't let poor Rudolph. Oh, there's stars on here too. There's three stars the other way. Hmm, I wonder if that's indicating which way I need to go first then. So there's all these golf pigs here. And there's also a jellyfish I saw. There he is. Well, that was not a very good jump. I am ready! Oh, cool. I actually caught him. That's so cool. Chump put this way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy! Stop running away from me, little jellington fish. There we go. Here we go. Hmm, so I guess maybe those stars do indicate which way we want to go first. Do I want to, okay, actually, let's do this game now. What do I need to play this game? All you need is a good throwing arm to play the porthole plunge. You gotta try to plug a ball in each of the three portholes on the side of the ship. Understand? No. Nope. Your eye on the anchor and start shooting hoops. So I might be wondering, huh, that sounds really stupidly easy. There has to be something more to this than that, right? No. Oh. <laughs> This is definitely the worst thought out game. And if they had multiple anchors. You see, even like that totally blocked it. I was gonna say, wow, I can't believe I failed this, but I, I didn't. It's not even that you can fail this either. It's just keep shooting until you get it in. Yeah, the anchor moves so slow. It's not even really a challenge. We gotta say about that, huh? Luck, all luck. I, I mean, nice job, dear sport. Here's a prize. And like a good little freaky monster. He runs out into the ocean, never to be seen again. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, great. Wonderful. 10 out of 10. Can I go behind here? I forget. I remember looking behind you before, but I don't remember if... No, you can't. Hooty. This is another... Well, I guess this isn't a sunken ship. This is a washed up ship, though. Maybe it was just built, though. So maybe It is built to be on here, though. It, well, maybe it wasn't initially a ship, so... I'll let that one pass as a theme of... So many ships being sunken in this game. Stinking sunken. Yep. <clears throat> Wee. So is that pretty much it here? I think so. So, yeah, this is the uh, last two stars. I'm curious. Does the big top have three stars on it? That's two stars as well. What the heck? Oh, I thought those pink tendrils there were freaking, um, jellyfish. Jellington fish! Okay, do they all have- Whoa! Whoa! Do they all have three stars? Or two stars, I mean? Sort of the first we all had- Yeah, it has three stars! Hmm. Because the order I did it when I played this did seem to be, like, a pretty good order. I like the way I did it. I, uh, I believe I went to the left first. It's interesting. Okay, well, yeah, we'll do left. But then we'll do we'll leave the big top for last. That's I kind of find that because you know the big top's kind of like the grand event, right? So of course you want to leave that to the last, to the last thing. Uh oh. Yay! Not dying. Jump on these golf pigs. Let's uh, head on to chump pot. And not fail miserably, right? Ha 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 ha. Loading, 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 loading! <gasps> it's a fish man! So this entire area is pretty much a mini game. Do I just roll around to play this game? I can do that! The object <laughs> of Chum Putt is to roll this ball to the top of the course. But you've got to hit all the goals along the way. So, do you want to give it a try? Let's get this ball rolling! I like how you really emphasize chum putt. Because I mean, chum does sound very similar to a um, not so safe for work word. It's calm. So, before, I mean, obviously, there's a change of tenor right here. You need to change your leaf a little caution because there's no other way to hit this. But before we do that, I think the easiest thing to do is run through the course and take care of anything that's going to get in your way. Because there's a lot of things here that could ruin your day. The jellyfish aren't too big of a deal, but you know what? We might we have the jellyfish net. We might as well get them now. Bam! The aggressive orange one. And there's a fish guy here too. Pretty sure that's one of the only few enemy fish men here. Ow! Ruining my day! Get out of here! Get out of here! It's interesting how some of the enemies at the beginning of the game gave me gave you doubloons for defeating them, but nothing like nothing past like um. Our downtown bikini bottom. It's weird. The business district, you know. Oh man, I'm totally gonna hit by this guy. It's gonna be very sad. 
Yay! I didn't get hit by that guy, and it wasn't very sad. So this, we obviously need the reef floor for as well, but I believe we've crossed through here. Got some more over here. Yay! Sewage! Delicious, delicious sewage. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, we can't go through these paths here. It's like, they're actually not even paths. They're like, oh god, they're solid walls. Damn it. I didn't expect that to toss me up. Wait, what? I, I could have sworn I saw a face on that yellow brick right there. It looked like Spongebob's face, actually. Hey! Sneaky green jellyfish. You might be like, oh no, I can't sneak up there as soon as I jump up there. Okay, I swore he ran away last time I tried to do that. I was gonna say, you could jump like up here and you're far enough away where you want to run away, but of course you had to prove me freaking wrong. Freaking butthole. Whoa, okay, let's grab the last one here. So yeah, there's like a solid wall here, which is weird. There's very clearly water floating, flowing into it. Same with here, there's, that's very clearly a solid wall too, so I don't freaking know. Yeah. All right. Um. Jump up here. There's a little arrow there telling you to go left. Go to the left. To the left. To the left. I just heard that song recently, but I already forget it. <laughs> um. Chumput. These floating letters. There's nothing supporting those. What is this? All these crazy neon signs. Okay, there's a way to get up here. I know there is. There we go. Okay, I'm just falling through the ladder. I don't think there's anything up on this tower anyways, right? Crap, I can't even see, so I don't even know. Yep. Alley-oop. alley -oop. Come on, man. There we go. alley -oop. No, there's nothing up there, so I just wasted everybody's time. Bam! Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. This background here, tires. Ugh. I've seen enough tires for my lifetime, man. Someone who works at a tire shop. Seen enough tires. Oh no, jellyfish. Oh no, jellyfish. You must return. Return to the world you love. Jellyfish are actually pretty freaking huge, aren't they? Alright. Look, all the doubloons. All of them. Whoa. Bam. Alright, this is actually, like, if you're... Like, this is a pretty long course. It's a course, of course. Eh, I don't freaking know. Jump up here real quick, like. We're already, like, halfway to collecting all the doubloons we need for the finish the level. At least, you know, get the letter, anyway. Bam. I wish there wasn't only just, like, a percentage. So there's underpants over here, which is really good. I really need it. Give them to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's jellyfish in there too, I forgot about that. We'll get those on the way back though. We're actually almost done exploring this. This course. I knew you were gonna hit me, asshole! How many hits do you take? Jeez, you took like three hits. No, jellyfish! I'm after your soul! There we go. Give me your soul! Sorry, I just turned evil for a second there. Happens occasionally. When I'm possessed! I don't know. No, no, I'm not possessed. That's my possessed noises. I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, <laughs> uh, this is stupid. Okay. <clears throat> hey, there's a jellyfish up here. Hello, jellyfish. This is not your home. Your home is in my net. Where all my jellyfish slaves live. No doubloons in these balloons? I guess not. Weird. Pretty sure those are like, the only balloons that don't host the balloons inside of them. It's very weird, because knowing these guys, like, these creators, they'd probably just put one in a random balloon and just leave the rest blank. Alright. Bam. No, I want that last doubloon, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much! And last jellyfish, well, at least for this part. And yeah, our final goal for the putt-putt is right over here. And then what does this lead to? Carnival games. Yeah, the labeling system in this isn't very good. It's not very intuitive. Just kind of like, carnival games, like, oh great, I'm at a carnival game right now though, so... Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't like how it's labeled. Anyways, so you'd think if you jump down here you would die, but you don't. Like, this stuff looks like something that would kill you. It's green and gooey. Disgusting. Yeah, there's jellyfish in here, which I guess is supposed to be the hint. 
Oh, there's two. Is there not two? Hello? Huh. Interesting. I thought 100% that there was two in here. I thought there was a pink one and that blue one or whatever that color was. Whoa, camera. Calm down. Anyways, now that we've pretty much cleared this area, I'm going to change to our reef floor costume and start cleaning up crime in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to me if you haven't already. Uh, if there's any games you want to see me play, best way to suggest them to me is checking out the video at the top of my description. That leads you to a spot where you can leave comments and the more suggested games, the more popular or the more popular ones I'll consider playing. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time where we blow some balls. That's totally gonna hit it, is it? Isn't it? No, it's not good. Yay! I don't want to spoil what happens when it hits the flakes. Actually, I don't even remember. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.